Hey guys, Tim here. Just thought I'd take a brief minute and do a how-to video on how to upgrade a laptop that has a built-in regular hard drive to an SSD. Now, some things to consider. Check your owner's manual. My laptop uses a 9mm drive, which means you'll be able to put a 9mm SSD drive in it. Some laptops use a 7mm SSD drive stock. So if you're trying to upgrade a stock SSD, make sure you read what's in. Some of also use a smaller format SSD. So make sure you know what form factor you have in your laptop before you order a new drive. But if you know you have a 9mm 2.5 inch drive, most standard SSDs are 9mm 2.5 inches. Some are 7mm, which will still work in this case. So. First thing to make sure is that your laptop is unplugged. This is just my old Toshiba that I use for surfing the web while I'm watching TV. We're going to flip it over. And I have some stuff covered up. That's the serial number. Don't worry about that. It's nothing important. I always remove the battery when working on laptops. That's one of those things, better safe than sorry. You don't want to have it opened up and accidentally bump the power switch somehow. It's just one of those good practice kinds of things. So in this case, my hard drive is down in the lower, in your view, left hand corner. And the way that I know that is I, I actually read, um, there's no markings on this case as to what's under what cover. But my owner's manual tells me um, what little numbers correspond to what sections. So I'm gonna go ahead you, all you'll need for this is a screwdriver with a number zero um, head in it. So you need a little fine tip. In my case, you know every computer is going to be slightly different. We're just going to take these two screws out, and I highly suggest keeping either a piece of tape around. Um, I just use painter's tape to stick these two when I take them out, so you don't lose them. So you're going to pop out the cover. And sometimes there's a little resistance on these, but you know, it's safe to you know, if you know your case, it's safe to pull it out. And then in my case, there's a very fine little ribbon here that you hook under and pull out. And then you pull directly don't don't lift up. That's, you're going to break the connector. You want to pull straight across the case until the connector is undone. And then you're going to pull out the drive. As you can see, you know it's just a regular old uh, 7200 RPM drive. Nothing fancy. You're going to take this case and you're going to undo the screws. Every case will be, every PC will be different, every laptop. But I'm going to undo these screws off camera and mount the new SSD and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. So the SSD, which in this case is a HyperX 3K, has been installed in the cage. And the main thing you wanna make sure is when you take out the old drive, make sure you put the new one in the same way the old one came out. So the connectors here need to be, since this is gonna lay down, need to be lined up this direction. So when you put this in, you wanna tuck your little, cord under in my, or the little flap under in my case because you want it to hide away and you're going to lower it straight down in and then you're going to gently rock it into the connector. You want to make sure don't wiggle up and down make sure you go directly into the socket. These are some of the most fragile connectors on a PC these days. The uh, SATA connector can break extremely easily with lateral force. So you want to push it straight in. We're going to go ahead and put the cover back on. And it's just going to snap down a little bit. We're going to put our two little screws back in. Then we're going to reinstall our battery, which just slots in and snaps down. And that's it. It's that easy to install a uh, 
SSD in your computer, your laptop. I highly recommend it to everybody, especially if you have an older laptop that you want to try to get another year out of before you buy something new. Um, you can buy a good 120 gigabyte SSD these days for under $100. So it's a relatively cheap upgrade and prices are coming down all the time, especially if you look for sales and specials, especially when new revisions of an older drive come out. So like right now, the Samsung 830s, where the current drives, the Samsung 840s are coming out. So there's special awesome deals on the Samsung 830s. You're going to get a little bit longer battery life. Marginally, I mean, it might be 10 minutes, but you're going to get some because you have no moving parts in your hard drive now. Your hard drive works heavily when you're using your computer. And you're going to get a lot faster application load times and Windows boot times. So please check out our video on performance of an older HD versus the newer SSD. This is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.